Welcome to Nepal, a country on the brink of a new era. In the past 10 years, Nepal's overall electrification rate has increased from 51% to 96%. Reaching the last 4% will be no small task. Nepal is home to the largest mountain range in the world. A high proportion of the population live in hard-to-reach rural areas. While its mountains make for breathtaking scenery, they also provide a unique challenge when it comes to providing electricity access to all. Nepal uh, is uh, the mountainous country. It's between China and India. Only our 14% area is plain. Uh, more than 50% people live in that plain areas, and the rest of the people are scattered in hills and mountains. And then we have a very difficult uh, situation in the road transportation in Himalayas and mountains. So what will it take to reach the last 4% and achieve universal electricity access? Universal access to electricity is, of course, a right. But uh, to make it a useful right, there are many things to be done. As Nepal moves towards achieving electricity access for all, an integrated electrification plan will be key to aligning government, donor, private sector, and consumers around a core strategy that focuses on how to deliver electricity to the last mile through off-grid and mini-grid solutions while enhancing energy security for generations to come. We need to make sure that we reduce the import of electricity from India and make ourselves uh, self-sufficient. And that's why the focus is to add more hydro. And the government in recent times has said, of the installed capacity of uh, electricity in Nepal, at least 12 to 15% will be from other sources, other renewable energy sources. So we see that solar power uh, is now going to be coming in in a big way in Nepal and be a complementary system for power generation to the hydropower projects which are already here. Uh, we have been quite aggressive in uh, last mile energy financing and uh, big hydro project financing as well. Uh, we mostly uh, help uh, uh, the alternative energy promotion center to process uh, subsidy because previously uh, the subsidy processing work had been done by the, the alternative energy promotion center itself. We are already thinking that uh, off-grid uh, mini-grids will be the mo uh, most efficient and uh, most financially sustainable solution for uh, those areas where we have low economic activities and difficult for the transmission and distribution line. As Nepal moves forward, it is crucial that AEPC, the Nepal Electricity Authority, and governments at all levels are able to coordinate and create policies that protect community-owned mini-grids, allowing them to connect to the central grid in future without becoming redundant. So we need to be uh, generating more power from our own resources, renewable energy resources, and make sure that they are not competing against each other, but they are supplementing each other. And that's what we have been advocating to the government as well. Nepal has changed, completely changed with the new constitution. It's no longer business as usual, and local governments are in the driver's seat. How fast they can drive and how well they can drive depends a lot on what partners can put together. So the, the idea behind the, the restructuring is that we want to bring the, the governance and the decision making near to the demand side. So the local level will be better understood by local government. UNCDF in Nepal has been working with Alternative Energy Promotion Center in developing renewable energy technologies and providing access to finance to the renewable energy sectors. We are um, supporting private sectors in coming up with innovative um, digital financial solutions to reach the last mile. And I think there's together with the, uh, with the local government entities, together with the federal government entities and the private sector, there's so much that can be achieved um, together deploying the digital technologies that is at our disposal to achieve the 
um, universal access to electricity for all. We are uh, still very much uh, refining our policies in hydro energy development. A lot of effort has been put in to bring the private sector in the energy generation. I think uh, if we are planning to get uh, more 100% uh, access, we should make our policies that private investment will be more attractive. Hydrogen, Amro Gong Palikale, Hydro, Zanta Bizi, and Manego, the Saman Distribute, Razakinavani, Yuzi, Antor Samondo, Kostura Hazavandi, Yuzi Hamro, Ramile Gornu Persavan, Halgo Opera, Top Dilani, Halgo Kamji, Amilio de Hazan. Tuzi, Ali Hydro, Zanta Bizi, Bativalman, Napolis, Kitivani, Hydrosan Salanuman, Napolis, Yon the Carte, Tuki Botigo Varma, I know, Akam Gorni, and he was just to. और उद्योग और संचालन करना ना सकने मिल ना होने दिग्गी में दान करना पाने अन्य जो अवस्था पड़ा होता है आइले मुक्त भाव का अवस्था सा पहली चाहे पहला हम ये अपन कुटनु करते हैं मकाई करते हैं तीन तो कोई फिर तीन दान करते हैं रात भरी लागते हो और जब ये किसी लायक में लोग खटुचा पारो को दिशाजी economic empowerment, have a better uh, social life and economic life in the village. It will uh, develop the, the education facility in rural area. It will help uh, the, the, to have uh, the, the modern healthcare facility in rural area. Energy is going to be the game changer because that is what will make Nepal grow as, as, uh, as a whole and not in bits and pieces.